In this online presentation, we'll go through the setup of a Citrix Netscaler with Secure Envoy using the RADIUS protocol. So first of all, log into the dashboard. We will then go to the configuration tab. And then select Netscaler Gateway. And then from here, select Virtual Servers. On the right hand side of the screen, there's an existing uh, profile already created, so just select the CAG profile and click Open. This will bring in a, an applet which actually run within the, the browser environment to carry out the next stage of configuration. Now into the virtual server configuration, select the authentication tab. Now there's an existing LDAP policy, so we can unbind this, so we can actually create a new policy to use RADIUS. Then click on the insert policy, select new policy, and then provide a, a name, this is a logical name, for example using SE RADIUS. Then on the authentication type, select the drop down and pick radius. And then finally click on new, so you can actually configure the secure envoy server for the radius protocol to communicate. So again, we have the name. And then we can obviously assign an IP address. Again, by default, Netscaler we use port 1812. So put in the IP address of the secure envoy server. And then finally select the timeout to be 10 seconds. Next stage is the pre-shared secret or the secret key. You have to enter this twice. If you remember this key, because you'll have to enter this on the secure envoy side for the radius protocol. Make sure password encoding is set to PAP and then click create. Finally, with the uh, expression matching, uh, you've got general expression. If you scroll down, select the true value. And the only one we want is for to be ns underscore true. This is like the default one for Citrus Netscaler to work. However, they can be uh, further customized if required. Once ns true is there, click create, and then OK to submit all the changes. This now is the final part of the Netscaler configuration. So now to go over to the Secure Envoy server, select the Radius tab. Put in the internal IP address, which the Netscaler will communicate to Secure Envoy upon, and then the shared secret we configured earlier. Make sure the authenticate passcode only is unchecked and passcode prompt is on a separate dialog is checked and finally click update and that completes the configuration and moves on to the next stage for doing some end-to-end -end testing with a secure envoy tokenless authentication.